Ipswich Town return to action tonight on what is sure to be an incredibly emotional and reflective occasion under the lights at Portman Road as they host Bristol Rovers. In the week and a half since Connor Chaplin's brace sealed victory at Accrington, the country has been living through a significant moment in history following the passing of our nation's longest reigning monarch, Her Royal Highness Queen Elizabeth II. And her life will be commemorated this evening with a number of marks of respect. Thomas and Gordon, Clark, Finlay, McCormack and Evans play in midfield and Anderson and Collins will be the attacking threat as play gets underway and immediately Leif Davis fouled on the edge of the Bristol Rovers penalty area. Ramsey stand, in comes the delivery from Evans towards the back post, it's Wolf and the, it's parried onto the bar and Bristol Rovers clear away. Collins, 25 yards out. Is he fouled by Harness? Well, play goes on, and it's a ball forward from Burgess. Ladapo's on his way. Bearing down into the Bristol Rovers penalty area. Ladapo with his shot. Good right-handed save across goal, and Chaplin can't turn it in at the back post. It is now with Sam Morsey. 35 yards from the Bristol Rovers goal. Harness edge of the penalty area. Plays it back into Morsey. Cross. There's Chaplin. Chaplin with the finish. What a wonderful goal from Ipswich Town. And it's that man again, Connor Chaplin. A brace last time out away at Accrington. And he's the first name on the score sheet this evening with a clinical finish from inside the Bristol Rovers penalty area. And it's been coming, you have to say. Outstanding football. Absolutely outstanding football. They were getting deeper and deeper, Bristol Rovers. I was just about to say how Aaron Collins was getting isolated at the top end of the pitch. It become a 4-5. Big gap to Aaron Collins up top. And actually a word on Freddie Ladapo as well. He didn't give that ball up initially in that initial phase of play to win it back for Ipswich high up the field. And that's where the goal came from. Yeah, I mean, people have been maybe critical of Freddie Ladapo. Here he goes again. Ladapo released by Morsi. Left-hand side, the Bristol Rovers penalty area. Ladapo clips it in left foot. It's towards Burns. And Belshaw has to spring away to his left-hand side. Gets both hands to it and palms it out. Burns into Chaplin, who is in a bit of a pocket of space. Tries to help it back onto Burns. That's with Collins, who's been on the periphery so far this evening as he looks to release Harvey Saunders. It's the wrong side of Leif Davis, but Leif Davis has forced him out wide inside the Ipswich penalty area. Saunders back to Anthony Evans. Long shot from Evans and it rattles the crossbar. Unbelievable effort from Anthony Evans. As the seconds tick down. At the end of this first half, Wolfenden looking for the run of Connor Chaplin. Morsi will steal in there ahead of McCormick. But Bobby Thomas can clear downfield. Wolfenden just tried to chest it to Janoy Danassian, but Collins can set Trevor Clark on his way. Clark with the effort. What a fabulous save from Christian Walton. Fingertip save. Now with Leif Davis looking to run at Luca Hall. Davis has done well, but... Sam Finley, the Bristol Rovers skipper, coming across to do his defensive duties. Davis wins it back for Ipswich Town, though. Here's Morsi, 30 yards out, plays it into Ladapo. Back to Evans, 35 yards from goal. There's the effort. Lee Evans scores for Ipswich Town. What a wonderful strike from the Welshman. Perfection from Lee Evans. Matt Holland, the fellow midfielder. What a goal that was. Well, if anyone's deserved a goal, it's that man, Lee Evans. An outstanding first half. He dictated play for us, and now he's got his rewards. We needed the second goal, and listen to the noise around Portman Road. He's absolutely jumping. Clips it into John Jaws, who's waiting in midfield. John Jaws looking to turn away from Kilgore, receives it back from Greg Lee, and now John Jaws absolutely bundled over by... Bobby Thomas, and that should be a yellow card. Indeed, it will be for Bristol Rovers, number 37. Well, that's has nailed on a yellow card, as you'll see. Good play from John Jules. Try to go for the one-two. Moulton. Well, oh, this could be trouble. This could be trouble for Bobby Thomas. Walton's gone long looking for a Hadmi. Bobby Thomas had both arms around the Hadmi. Out to Danassian. As the Ipswich Town supporters 
make plenty of noise. Danassian breaking away down the Ipswich right. It's towards Ahadmi. Ahadmi turns it goalwards, but it's saved by Belshaw. Well, Gassan Ahadmi so close to his first Ipswich goal there. Throw in gave Kilgore quite a bit to do there with Ahadmi sniffing around. And Kilgore's giving it straight to Connor Chaplin. And Chaplin's hauled down by Kilgore. And this is the second red card of the evening for Bristol Rovers. Morsi in midfield looking to drive now at the heart of the Bristol Rovers defence. He's got John Jules outside him. Here is John Jules. Harvey Saunders stepping in. And there goes the full-time whistle. And it's another win for Ipswich Town. A majestic performance, fitting of the occasion.